It's your boy CC. I'm Mara Soul, and today we're going to be talking to you guys about our song High Res. <laughs> high vibration. <laughs> So this song is basically just about higher vibrational living, being more conscious of yourself and the world around you, and you know what I'm saying? Just uplifting yourself and others. Hey, be real. Stay real. Don't lie to yourself. Because when you lie to yourself, what you doing? You lying to everybody else. <laughs> and we can't have lies in this world. I don't fuck with y'all. <laughs> Hi, res girl. Living in this low vibe world, life is plastic and it's drastic. Please don't touch my hair. You don't want to go there. Lacey keep me sane in the brain, but on the contrary, I'm basically talking about how I feel like I'm like this higher vibrational individual, but like the world just be on low vibes. <laughs> and so, I mean, a lot of the song is just like about me not feeling like I, I really fit in here. <laughs> And so if you didn't know, you know, it's like an unspoken, spoken rule. Like, you don't touch a black girl's hair. Like, it's disrespectful. It's rude. And so, you know, I'm just letting y'all know in case you didn't know. Um, you know, I'm paying a little bit of homage to Steve Lacey. Um, that's my dude. <laughs> he don't know me, but I know him. So we cool in my head. Um, but I just really love his music and how it makes me feel. Um, so, yeah, you guys should check him out, too. I do this shit myself, no the medication didn't help, I'm out here raw dog and mental health, practicing alignment and keeping touch with my mind and hugging on my body to music that makes me cry and so um, I'm like diagnosed with bipolar disorder but um, I actually used to take medication for it and it ended up making me feel really icky inside, kind of like a robot and so yeah, I don't know it just didn't help me. Kudos to you for help you. I'm out here raw dog in mental health. Basically, it's like I'm, you know, we just out here. We just out here, unmedicated, free, having to deal with it. And so the way that I deal with it is I just really try to be mindful of how I practice, um, like meditation and putting good things into my body and just being aware of like how I feel. Thinking about moving on to better days where love is the vibration and peace is the wave. Shifting my perspective so everything is a blessing. Baby, I said call me. Don't want to do all that texting. I just see a future um, where everybody's just full of peace and love um, towards one another and then towards ourselves as well. I just feel like it's possible. I feel like world peace is possible. I don't think I'm going to see it. I don't think my generation is going to see it. But I think that it's in our future. So a big turn in my mental health was really when I just took some time to shift my perspective on life and the world itself. I think that's when I saw like the biggest change in like, you know, my mindset. I'm a big fan of like phone calls and FaceTime because like you text me, your text is like probably gonna get ignored. Like I'm like the worst texter in like the history of texting. And this is when I start singing. Nah, I'm just kidding. I try to sound real pretty, but damn it, it don't be fitting. Yeah, I'll be trying to sing, but I'm not a singer. <laughs> so, you know, I threw a little, a little fake, a little fake uh, singing bar in there, but nah, it don't be hitting. I also tried the reefer. I would say that it was hidden, but my mind be going loopy. Anxiety got me quitting. So basically, you know, I used to, I used to smoke and my anxiety would just be like tripping all the time. So like it was never like a peaceful high. <laughs> I feel like I'd always be like bugging out. So, you know, as much as I've tried it, you know, it's just not for me. Man, why y'all still here? Did I spit something real or maybe I wasn't clear? Salde to cabeza, I'm icy and I got flavor. I'm a money making mommy. That's English, but I got paper. <laughs> so basically in this line, I'm just kind of like really talking to y'all. Like, are you hearing what I'm saying? Like, do you feel me? Like, let's break out of this box. Let's be ourselves. Let's really live life to our potential um, in love, you know, and in peace. And, you know, it's really time to get out of your head, break out of that box, and just really be yourself. And then the last bar um, is kind of like, you know, a shout out to Saweetie. Because, you know, she's the icy girl. And she used to have a, um, a clothing line called Money Making Mommies. And so, yeah, I just, you know, combined it, added a little flavor on it. And, yeah. My heart's paraplegic. 
Parasite Legion. Apparently this world filled with parrots and parakeets mimicking what they see without reason. Basically I'm speaking on how I deal with my own kind of heartbreak and how I feel like society, people, uh, governments, just society in general try to leech and bring me down. More down than, you know, than I felt. Every day I walk outside, I feel like everybody be doing the same shit. I feel like nobody speaks their mind. Nobody lives their truth. And I feel like it's a bunch of parrots mimicking what we see. Preaching. Parents paired me with paranoia that deepens my anxiety. I grew up with foreign parents. And... They also grew up in a generation that I like to call helicopter babies, which is when news, uh, newspapers were like the big thing. That's how everybody got their information. And I feel like that generation just believed anything they saw. They didn't question anything. So what that did to us, the generations after, they would instill every fear that the news told them into us. And anytime I'm, I'm going outside, you know, it's watch out. Uh, somebody just got killed 20 miles away, but it can happen to you. <laughs> somebody, somebody just got snatched up in Ohio. It can happen to you. So it's like we grew I grew up in a very paranoid uh, household and, you know, not included in my environment. We already deal with the paranoia that comes with that. So, you know, it was a lot of battles, but. But we here, you did. Am my unique? Will my art spark interest in this world when I'm living or do I have to die to see? I'll never know if I throw in the towel and leave. This is me just reflecting and asking myself, is, is my art special enough or strong enough to, to leave my mark on this world to where people can actually see it and, and help change them? you know, in a positive way. You know, as artists, I feel like, you know, we always ask ourselves these questions like, damn, is this enough? Am I even gonna make it? Is, is what I'm doing, like, really gonna get me where I wanna be? And I think those are normal things as artists that we ask ourselves. But to be honest, nigga, I don't know, and I'm never gonna know unless I just keep trying. So that's what I'm doing, I'm just trying. This government be like a thousand towers blocking the sun and crowding the streets. If you don't know by now, they don't want us to shine. In the meantime, I'm looking for the child and me. This is my thoughts on the government and how I'm not going to let them affect me being, you know what I'm saying, who I am. I'm not going to allow them to take my innocence. Because if y'all know by now, it's a spiritual war going on. Like, for real, so many distractions out here from music, from media, news. It's a lot of brainwashed people out here. So this is basically me saying I'm going through this life with all these distractions, but I'm still looking for the child in me, that innocence, that purity. I won't let this world take that from me. My environment inspiring me to move on When my light is then my wider lens to keep my view strong See, karma is real We all pay the price, ain't no life coupon I'm speaking on how, how my environment Is pushing me to, to, to move the fuck out of here You know, I feel like Sometimes it be a lot of hatred And not even my outside environment, but you know friend groups, families, circles, you know what I'm saying, just the world sometimes, so I feel like sometimes I just want to get away, just want to go to the mountains and live by the ocean or something, and I tell myself, you know, I got to open my eyes and see past my environment, I got to open my eyes and see, see what I can do, my potential. Because once again, this world tries to tear that down. And I can't do it doing wrong things. Because karma is real. And one thing I learned about life, ain't no give me backs. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, ain't no easy way to do this. The only way to do it is to do it.
And I don't know if I'm doing it good or bad, but best believe I'm, I'm going to do this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do it. This world feels like a sitcom. That's me being honest. I just sit calm while I watch this world falling. Most people sit in the con. They fake and knock and see through all this. I feel like a lot of people aren't who they really want to be. And I think that leads to destruction. Because when you ain't being yourself, where's the love? So as a destruction happens, you know, I just sit calm. Because I'm comfortable with who I am. Talk about your dreams, but sleeping on yourself, I find that alarming. Why does wearing my heart on my sleeve have to mean that I'm a target? See my darkest times when it was hard to find my innocence. It, I feel like a lot of people nowadays talk about all these things they want to accomplish, all these new heights in life they want to reach, but no one be working towards it. I feel like I have a gift of just seeing people's potential. So when I see somebody like tell me all these things and not try, it uh it's just alarming. This world has a way of like shutting you down, whether it be physically killing you or even metaphorically killing you and try to dim that light. You look at your your Dr. Sebi's Tupac's, MLK's, Dick Gregory's, you know what I'm saying? These people that spoke some and tried to really make a change, a positive change, and got murdered. So it just seems like a pattern, you know what I'm saying? We got a peep game, it's a pattern out here. I've seen my darkest times when it was hard to find my innocence. And that's kind of going back to what I initially said about, you know, finding that child in me. Finding that purity, that innocence, that this world just finds a way of taking. And that's when I see my darkest times, when I was detached from my innocence, from that child. And I gave in to that other side. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this breakdown of high res. Um, look forward to more music, more projects, all that good stuff coming to you soon. Yo. Peace. That's how I be feeling sometimes. It's like, peace, love y'all, but I gotta step. Fuck y'all, I gotta go. I gotta do me. I like that. Like that. <laughs> yeah. No, I actually like that. That's cool. That shit fire, right? Yeah. <laughs>